This video is brought to you by Lithuanian with Marta. Stick around to the end to learn more. At the time of making this video, France is in the process of increasing its official retirement age from 62 years to 64. This change has led to widespread and oftentimes violent civil unrest across France. Chaos continues over the nation's planned pension reform. More than a million people demonstrated yesterday to protest President Macron's decision to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64. In Paris, tear gas filled the air as protesters, some of them anarchist troublemakers, according to police, set bags of garbage on fire. While all of this is going on, Lithuania's own retirement age is raised by a few months every year with the retirement age in 2023 being 64 and a half years for men. By 2026, the retirement age will be set at 65 for both men and women. So let's take a look at this interesting part of Lithuanian government policy, why it exists, and what it means for those who choose to spend their senior years in the country. So first off, I think it would be good to briefly explain what retirement age means especially to younger viewers who may not understand the full impact of these policies. In many countries around the world, there's an official retirement age. Once you reach this age, you're eligible to collect money from the government. Often referred to as a pension, the program in Canada is called CPP, or the Canada Pension Plan. In Lithuania, it's administered by the agency known as SODRA and called Sinatvis Pensia, which simply translates to old age pension. If you're a normal person paying taxes to the government, the government collects all of this money and pays it out to people who have reached retirement age. The basic idea, no matter where you go, is that you're probably too old to keep working, and so the government is there to provide you with a source of income to keep on living. The other side of this is that, well, you've lived a long life of hard work, and now it's time for you to just enjoy it. At least that's what some people hope retirement will be. So if you didn't understand this before, hopefully now you can see why people in France are protesting and rioting. Imagine being 60 or 62 years old and previously thinking that retirement was just around the corner, only to find out you'll have to work a few more years in order to collect your pension. That would suck. I mean, it doesn't typically work like this since any increases in retirement age are usually introduced gradually and based on your birth year instead of a big sweeping change that affects everyone all at once. But still, people are mad. France's current retirement age of 62 is actually a bit of an abnormality when compared to other countries around the world. In Canada, the standard age is 65, while it's 67 in the United States. It's 66 in the UK. There was a plan to raise this to 68, but it looks like this plan has been scrapped. In Germany, it's around 66, but the country is also in the process of increasing this, with some debate about raising it to 70. It's also important to know that in some countries, you can choose to retire earlier than the standard age and collect just part of your pension instead of the full amount. And so what are things like in Lithuania? Well, according to the SODRA website, Lithuania's retirement age, historically, has been different for men and women. In 2012, the male retirement age was 62 years and 8 months, and for women in 2012, it was 60 years and 4 months. Somewhere along the line, Lithuania decided to increase the age gradually, with this age of retirement set to reach 65 years by 2026, for both men and women. To do this, the male retirement age has been increased by 2 months every year, while it's 4 months per year for women, so that it will catch up to the male age. When I first found out about this, it was a little upsetting and disappointing. But when I look at what things are like for other countries, Lithuania seems to be following what everyone else is doing. The French have had it good for a while, but this proposed change is only keeping up with everyone else. Okay, but why is it even necessary to increase the retirement age? You may have already figured it out, or maybe not. The pension age is based on younger, working people paying taxes and contributions to allow the government to redistribute that money to old people who have retired. It's good when there are more young people than old people, but when population demographics change, it can really mess up government programs like this. Old people living longer and families having fewer children are two big factors that could threaten the pension system. 
people moving away from Lithuania has likely added pressure as well. Essentially, there are fewer people working and paying taxes, but more and more people retiring and collecting a pension. And so this is why we see countries around the world raising the retirement age and not just in Lithuania. But let's say you're set on retiring in Lithuania. What does it all mean? Since the large majority of people watching these videos are 44 years or younger, I'm quite certain that the retirement age will change within the next 15 years. And I'm very certain that the minimum pension payout will be different by then too. So the current numbers probably won't be relevant to most of us. But for your parents or grandparents in Lithuania who are close to retiring, the amount of pension will depend on how many years they've worked and a few other factors that will be used to calculate the final amount. But according to a December 2022 article by the Baltic Times, in the third quarter of 2022, the average old age pension amounted to 483 euros per month. This unfortunately isn't very much at all. In fact, average pensions in France and Germany are between double and triple this amount. I believe it has to do with the fact that Lithuania, under the USSR, had an overly generous and unsustainable retirement policy, and the country has been working to recover from this. But also, the country's shrinking population is probably a huge factor as well. Ultimately, I think all of this is a reminder that you should be planning for your future in a financial sense, at least a little bit. Perhaps put a little bit of money aside from each paycheck, and maybe invest it somewhere so that it grows over time. The government will be able to provide you with a little bit of money, but probably not enough to live comfortably in your later years. To be clear, this is not professional financial advice, although I think most smart people would agree with this strategy. So to wrap things up, the Lithuanian word of the day is sanis, which means old. Sanis. If you want to learn more of the Lithuanian language, you should check out today's sponsor, Lithuanian with Marta. Marta's Instagram page offers regular posts teaching you Lithuanian. I think she might even be launching a self-study online course soon too. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. But what do you think of Lithuania's retirement age and its social system? Let me know by leaving a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.